So you know what? I've just filmed like five minutes of this video and I'm starting it again. I don't know what's going on. I'm very tired and I feel very strange and I can't stop laughing. Hey guys, I'm back. So today I thought that I would share with you some barefoot confessions. Welcome to barefoot confessions. <laughs> Coco, can you stop making gross noises while I'm filming? Thank you. What I'm gonna do is what the fuck? Right, make sure nothing's hanging out. Don't want that shit on the internet. Today, what is this? <laughs> to a flying fucking start. So I'm gonna preface this video by saying, I don't wanna hear you hate because there's nothing you can tell me that I don't already know myself. Like the whole point of these confessions is me saying I was naughty and I've learned from it or I was naughty and I'd do it again. <laughs> I really would because Laurie and I talked about it, right? So in 2018, at the beginning of the year, when we started our barefoot journey, we were like, tighten the reins, we're not allowed to do anything. Like, we got to save, 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 save. And it got to the point where we were like, this is shit. Like, we're not actually enjoying our money. Like, we want to be able to do this. We want to be able to do that. We're really freaking tired and we need a holiday. Like, just things like that. So... Everything that we did that was a little bit naughty and a bit of a confession, I would do it all again. So, here it is. Here's my confessional. This one, I don't particularly believe that this is a confession because most of the people I speak to are in the same boat. So, I really want to hear from you guys if you've had the same experience. Most of the time, our expenses sat at about 65% of our wage, not 60. And therefore, we chose to put 15% into fire extinguisher, not 20%. If you guys have had the same experience, if when you started Barefoot, your expenses were higher than the 60%, which as I said, a lot of the people that I've spoken to have had that problem. Where did you make up that 5% from? Like, where did you take it from? Did you also take it from fire? Did you take it from smile or splurge? Let me know. That's number one. Number two is, we, as I've said before, were very tired and desperate for a holiday. So in order to make sure that we didn't have to save our splurge for spending money, we bumped up our smile account to 20% in the month leading up to going to Bali last year. So we had 20% going into our smile account and therefore 10% went into fire extinguisher. And this is obviously one of many reasons why we didn't blow out our uh, debts as quickly as what we could have and we didn't build our mojo as quickly as what I know other people have done in like six months and like bravo that's insane and amazing and I'm so happy for you but that is not the story in here so we did that and I'd do it again from month to month. sorry thumpers just having an itch down here Milo get it together you good give me a joy that would mean give me Confession number three is we have been uh, also probably even now, not now, no, you know what, 2019, time out, new year, we're not fucking doing it. We have decided that 2019 is going to be the year that we tie in the reins because it just didn't really happen in 2018. <laughs> anyway, so we had been guilty of dipping into other accounts for things that we shouldn't have, that really should have come from splurge. Some examples, takeaway, going out for dinner, going out drinking, uh, what else? Getting my hair done, which I don't do anymore, so I'm saving money there, bravo me. Beauty stuff, like laser, hair removal, etc. Yeah, so yeah, we would dip into other accounts to pay for things like that. One of the things that we were highly guilty of is using our daily expenses for takeaway. Cause we're like, oh yeah, let's just get some takeaway. It's fine. Of course now, 12 months later, that we've now got our grocery account, we really can't do that because there's, there's no, and that was why we were overspending on groceries and food because we'd go and we'd do a big shop at the supermarket, get home and be like, oh, I don't want any of that for dinner. I want this for dinner. And we'd go back to the supermarket and buy again. And then it was just like, just eating away literally into our expenses and then when an un 
you know, unknown bill popped up, we're like, oh crap, we don't have the money to pay for that and the expenses because we've eaten it all. We now have, um, and I think this is a really cool idea because it's like an old person thing um, to do, I believe, is we've got like a slush fund in our house of cash. So when we've got like spare coins or like five bucks, 10 bucks, we just chuck it in there. And that's our takeaway fund if we don't want to take it from splurge so we'll do that every fortnight or something like that otherwise we will take it from splurge and if we go out now for meals i'll pay for mine separately and laurie will pay for his or we'll get in a shout <laughs> either way that's one thing that we've um yeah that we decided we would do to treat ourselves for takeaway so we're not dipping into our expenses account for food again so i know i've touched on this in a previous Barefoot Confessions, but the afterpay thing. Yeah. So it didn't just get me once, guys. It got me thrice. Not once, not twice, but thrice. And the thing about it was, the stupid thing about it, might I add, is that it was always for like, you know, say $80. And I'd be like, I have $80 in my splurge, but if I spend that $80, then I'm only gonna have $20 left for like a week. Whereas if I have to pay it in my stupid brain, I was like, I can pay that off over like fortnights and whatever. But then of course what happens is you forget about it and then you overspend your account. And you're like, yeah, I've only got like 10 bucks in my account. And then you get that text message or that email being like, your afterpay is coming up tomorrow. And you go, shit, I forgot about that, didn't I? So, yeah, I had to get bailed out a couple of times there. Or the other thing that I would get caught up in, I was like, oh, I've got an afterpay on the go already, but it's only $20 a fortnight. I can totally do another $20 a fortnight. You see where this is going. The moral of the story and the confessions is that we were a little bit too YOLO <laughs> last year when we could have been a lot tighter and we could have gotten a lot further, but we didn't. You know what? We're alive. We're here to tell the tale. I can't stop fucking laughing in this video. I feel like such a failure. Oh, God. I don't know why. So, yeah. That's that done. New year, new me. We're gonna get it right this year. We are going to be tight as a fish's yeah. <laughs> Let me say hello. This is Milo. Milo's been staying with us for a week. We have Milo and Coco, my mum and dad's dogs. And they had never been to the beach before, so we took them to the beach. I made a really cute video of their adventure to the beach. It only goes for like two minutes, but if you're into dogs, you'll love it. Comment below if you want me to post that on my channel, because it was pretty cute. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. The good one that, oh not a good one, obviously this whole video is not about good things. To make me feel better, if you'd be so kind, can you please share your barefoot confessions in the confessional below, down in the comments. I want to know, what have you done? Where did you stuff up? Where did you go wrong? Did you do it more than once? Did you do it more than twice? I don't know. You tell me. I want to know. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. What is that? Ugh. Anyway, I've got some cool ideas for upcoming videos, so I will uh, keep you posted. Um, one of my goals for 2019 is to be more consistent on YouTube and to build up my subscribers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, give me a like on this video, share it with your friends, share it with your barefoot community. I don't know. Yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yeah.